This is a question from functions of two variables, so-called multivariable calculus. And we're given the following information. We're told that the origin is a so-called critical point of this function here. We're asked to determine the nature of the critical point. And the important thing here is that the second derivative test fails for this particular example. So you can't use the second derivative test. Okay, so for the second derivative test, you look at the second derivatives of this, f sub xx, f sub yy, f sub xy, and then you look at the discriminant, f sub xx times f sub yy minus the square of the mixed derivatives. In this case, that is zero, so the second derivative test cannot be used. So the question is, how do I know, if I know the origin is a, is a critical point, how do I classify it using, you know, so, so, I, so I can conclude, oh, well, it's a mi local minimum or a local maximum or something in between, the um, saddle point, which is like a, you know, a point of inflection. How do we do it? Well, it comes back to how you define a local min, a local max, or a saddle point in terms of the given function, not its derivatives, in terms of the given function. So let me show you what I mean as I go through this, this problem. All right. All right, so I'm going to draw the xy plane in, and I'm going to draw a little disk around the origin. OK? That disk can be as small as you like, OK? I can shrink it as much as I like. It's always going to have the origin in there. OK. Now, if I say, look at all the points in the disk that lie along the y, the positive y-axis and not the origin, and the positive x-axis, but not at the origin, I'll see that f is both positive on one of those little line segments and negative on the other line segment. Okay? This is important for classifying our, our point. Okay, so, so let's say you know you can think of this as a ray and this is a ray. Ah, sorry, y equals zero. Okay, so I'm coming in down here. So this is y equals 0 with x uh, positive. Look what happens to the function. Okay, so I replace y with 0 in there. So that'll disappear, and I'll get x to the power 4. Now, as long as x isn't 0, or if x is positive, x to the power 4 is always positive, right? And what's the value of my function at the critical point? Zero. So I can conclude the following. Along any point inside this little part of the disk or the circle on the x-axis, there's always a point that the function is positive. Okay. So let's go along this, this one now. So that's along the, the ray x equals 0 with y positive. We have the following. OK, so I replace x with 0 up here, and I'm going to get negative y to the power 4. Now, as long as y is not 0, that's always negative. So. No matter how small that disk is, I can shrink it as much as I like. I can always find a point where the function's positive and negative. Okay, so there's always a point in that disk where the function is more than, than zero and less than zero. Okay? So that means that the, the origin must be not a local min, not a local max, but something in between. The so-called saddle point. Okay? Now, if 
if the function was greater than the, uh, the value of the uh, function at the critical point for all points in that disk, then we'd be talking about a local minimum. If the function was less than the value of the function at zero for all points in the disk, we'd be talking about a maximum. But here we've got actually both of these inequalities going on. Okay, so let me make that a bit more precise. Hence, for each disk centered at zero, zero, at the critical point, no matter how large or small, there are points in the disk such that this is true and this is true okay these are not the same points these are just different different points okay so the only way that can happen is if there's a saddle point in fact, this is, this is how you can define a saddle point. Okay, so, that, so the important thing there is that we're not using a second derivative test because it fails. And we're actually going to go back to what we really mean by a saddle point or a local min, or a local max, okay?